Hello, YouTubers! Champion DJK coming at you again with another new casting review for the 2016 Hot Wheels Mainline. And today we got the HW Formula Solar. And here it is. HW Formula Solar. It is new for 2016, of course, as all the cars we're reviewing this year are. Uh, number 245 at 250. It is best for track. It is 5 for 5 in the Hot Wheels Screen Speed Series. We'll flip it around. First seen in D cases. And there we go. So it's an aerodynamic solar powered speeder made to race. Solar panels charge dual electric motors while the open body exposes the charging system and cockpit. It's electric. And of course it's an unlicensed model. So a fantasy casting. Hot Wheels Green Speed. So there it is. Number 55. We'll take it out. Let's take a look. And here it is. So, kind of cool. These wheels are new. I don't think these have been used on anything else before. Um, so, I first noticed the wheels when I first seen this casting, and that was the interesting thing about it. Um, it is a three-piece casting. We have the body, which is plastic, that does lift up. We've got the interior bit that is plastic, and then the base, which is metal. So, we'll turn on the light here and see if you can see it a little better. Um, inside of here, it does look like these are batteries connected together, but I don't think it's what it is, because this is supposed to be a true solar vehicle that actually just, where the solar actually powers the motor directly, but they called it a charging system, so that's kind of confusing, but of course it's not a real functional vehicle, so we don't really need to be worried about how it actually is supposed to work, or in theory how it's supposed to work, um, so I do like that it has a moving part, that's pretty cool. Um, pretty neat so there's that what is it um it's a solar race car so is it a real vehicle no it's not a licensed vehicle but this is kind of what they're after here here's a solar race car um, some solar cars do use solar cells to charge batteries that provide power to electric motors um, some cases the solar cells directly provide energy to the motor without using batteries for storage which is cool. No batteries means less weight, of course, but with no place to store energy, it's tough to take a solar ride on a rainy day. So if it's cloudy and stuff, you have nowhere to store that energy, so um, kind of tough to get some range out of it. This is, I believe, a full solar car, no batteries in this. And I think this, all these pictures I've got for you are. So there's another solo car, or solar car, and here's another solar car. Um, pretty cool. When looking um, at solar cars and kind of taking a look, I've discovered that there is a website called the American Solar Challenge.org, um, which has the Formula Sun competition. So, pretty cool. Check that out if you get the chance. It's teams that build these solar cars and then race them. So, that's kind of neat. This is a picture of a car that was built. So, as you can see, there's not really room for a passenger in there, just kind of laying down. And, of course, they're made super lightweight because the amount of power that they're able to generate out of these solar panels really isn't much. So the car's got to be as light as possible and, you know, no cup holders in this vehicle. So pretty cool. Uh, casting history-wise, there's no history on this particular one, but just for fun, I decided, you know, let's take a look at some cars that have come out that are solar cars in the Hot Wheels history. Of course, starting with this 1999 our 1998 first edition Solar Eagle 2, which I actually have one of those. Here it is. Um, it was a real car that won a competition. Um, it won the, it was made by Cal State, and it won the Sun Race in 1997. So, there that is. Um, and then there was the Solar Reflex, which was a new model for 2007 which doesn't really look like it, but I believe it was a nod to the 2006 Ford Reflex concept, which is supposed to be a solar uh, hybrid solar car from Ford that never got produced. But there's that just for fun, and uh, that's going to be pretty much it. So, as always, we are going to rate the casting on a scale of one star to three stars, one being... I don't like it, two being it's okay, and three being I really like it. Um, this one to me gets two stars. I don't think I would ever display it on a wall or anything like that, so it's not a three-star vehicle, but I think it's a cool little car, and 
kind of nice to see it's got a moving part, even though it's just this little thing. But I think that's pretty cool. So let me know what you think in the comments down below. Did you pick it up? Are you going to pick it up? Did you pass on it? Do you think it's fun for kids to play with? What do you think about it? Let me know in the comments down below. Love hearing what you think about these castings. So thank you very much for watching, guys. Have a great day.